These are just a few of the lucky women who were set free during the Obama administration, either through executive clemency or a two-point reduction in their sentence. We appreciate President Obama's Herculean effort to tackle our broken criminal justice system by exercising his executive authority to grant clemency to prisoners, especially women who were hit so hard by the conspiracy law that ensnares minor participants, such as wives, girlfriends, sisters, and even grandmothers, by holding them equally accountable for the actions of a family member, friend, or loved one in the drug trade. Our allies, such as Cut 50, Nation of Second Chances, and the National Council of Formerly Incarcerated Women and Girls are concerned that Attorney General Jeff Sessions' directive to amp up the drug war will incarcerate more women like the ones in this video. This will shatter families and unnecessarily rip children from their mother's arms for mere guilt by association. These are the faces of the women still in prison who also deserve clemency or a reduction of sentence. We have worked so hard for the incremental progress made thus far, and we cannot go back to the dark ages of the 90s. We are determined to fight back and bring more women home. Please sign our petition asking Attorney General Sessions to reverse his directive that will send more women to prison for drug conspiracy. Details are provided in the petition that accompanies this video. Together, we can do this.